Hey everybody, hello. How are you? This is Kelly Weiler here at Girl Upcycled Studio and this is an hour of fresh paint with Kelly. So um, I think I have one more week with the everyday live marathon that I've been doing. So I will um, I will decide next week um, if I'm going to continue or how many days I'm going to continue and all that good stuff. So, um, but today I thought I would do a really just a fun, light little DIY project that I know everybody will be able to do. I know everybody will have these little vases. Um, this is just one of those little vases that you, you would get just like when somebody sends you a little bouquet or, um, anything like that. This is made with recycled glass, so I'm kind of happy about that. But we're going to kind of give this a brand new look and I um, hope you guys can hang out and see what it turns out to be. So when you come in, you guys say hello. Give me a little shout out and I'm going to grab my alcohol over here so we can wipe it down real good. So I'm going to give you guys a chance to say hello as you come rolling in. Okay, I'll be right back. And my paper towels. Okay, I've got a little bit of just rubbing alcohol is all I have. So I always like to clean the glass really well before I get started. And that just is going to remove any of the oils um, from the glass so that the paint adheres really, really well. What are y'all getting into tonight? I hope the feed is okay. Hey Marva, how are you? There's Kim Parr from Florida, and there's Maggie. Okay, everybody's rolling in now. And there's Deborah. how are you? What are y'all getting into this weekend? Anything fun? And there's Sue over on YouTube, it's nice to see you. Is there anybody that's brand new here today? <laughs> Deborah says she's working on a design project. I cannot wait to see what it is. Um, little tip too, I always hit my fingers with this as well, okay? Because your skin gives off natural oils. And so anytime you put like oils, especially on glass, because compared to wood, glass is really, um, smooth surface and it will scratch and it will um, smudge a little bit quicker than wood okay so I always like to wipe my hands off there's Teresa Moore how are you Teresa and there's Jody hi nice to see you Jody she's new here um, and Jimmy Swift is in the house nice to see you Jimmy it's a model home. You'll have to wait six months. Good for you, though. That's great. There's Carol Ann. Good to see you, Carol. Okay, so the way I like to paint when I'm painting, whether it's a vase or whether it's a wine glass or anything like that, when I'm going to do a full coverage, I kind of like to, I like to go upside down with it so that I can turn it and I work from the bottom up. So that's what we're going to do. And I am going to start with this beautiful, beautiful, bold color. It's called Blue Iris. This is Debbie's Design Diary DIY clay-based paint that I'm going to use. Um, and I know you're probably wondering because a lot of times I use glass paint when I'm doing this and it needs to be cured. But since I'm doing a full coverage, I'm going to use my DIY paint and then I'm just going to seal it. So, and it'll be like, voila, done, right? So this is Blue Iris very bold and I love it okay I guess I have a paper towel here and let's get started I'm going to just use a bigger brush to get this on here hopefully you guys can see hello Sue from over on YouTube Sue says I just finished setting up my space for our reopening from the situation we open on Monday. Well, I am going to send you all my love and good vibes and well wishes for you. Okay. I hope you have a great opening day. And I hope all of you watching will 
um, say a little prayer for her so that she has a great opening day as well. Hello, Michelle is in the house. Um, good to see you, Michelle. Michelle, I am using Blue Iris to start off with. Michelle will drop a link for all of you if you all love this color and you want to try it. You can certainly give it a try. I do sell and ship all these products. I am only shipping inside the United States now, you guys, okay? Um, the, the situation going on has caused a lot of problems for my any of my shipping that was going outside of the United States. So I completely put everything on the hold and I apologize for my customers that are um, outside the, of the United States. I just, I just can't do it right now. It's just, there's no planes going in or out um, to certain countries and it's just too difficult. So hello, Tiffany and Judith. Nice to see you, Judith. Um, hi Sue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've already wiped it down with a little bit of alcohol. I'm just going to go around. I'm, I'm kind of putting it on pretty thick. And I will probably have to use my hair dryer. And I hate to do that on lives, guys, but I kind of just don't think I'll have um, I'll have an option. I love this color, you guys. It's beautiful. Have you all used Blue Iris yet? It's one of our newer colors with the DIY company. Um, and it's it does really well it has beautiful coverage and it's just stunning now the one thing is it will dry just a little bit lighter um but then when you seal it it's going to richen back up and it will look just really deep and beautiful and all that stuff okay so um i always like to just warn people about that so that they know that it does have a little bit of a a change in color. I also like to teach people that when you are trying to come up with, you know, a color scheme or a finished color scheme that to do it from start to finish on a little bit of a sample if you're unsure, um, because the final look is not going to be the little paint sample that you put out, you know, on a, on a little piece of wood until you've sealed it. So you want to make sure you always seal it so that you know exactly what your finished look will be, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Anybody doing anything tonight? It is Saturday night and it's just beautiful here and the restaurants and around the building are hopping and um, people are out, they're enjoying the sun and hanging out by the riverside eating dinner with their family. So it's so nice to see. It's just so nice. I've got a little bit of a chunk in there. So I'm just going to dig that out. Whoops. And I just, I just, did you guys see that? I just flung paint. Hey, Dabber Hoops. Good to see you. And hello, Kim Parr. Kim Parr is in the house. Okay. So I'm not going to go overboard on this bottom part. Now we're going to go ahead and dry this while we chit chat. Next week, next week have some fun things planned. Um, I have a little something I'm going to be giving away during one of my lives that I'm going to be doing. And it will be during one of my intuitive, I'm going to do an intuitive painting um, I, I want to say start to finish, but with intuitive paintings, sometimes, sometimes it goes, you know, a little longer than I expect, but, 
um, I am going to be doing a little special giveaway that I hope all of you will be around for. Michelle, thank you. I thought my hair did. I thought my hair did. You guys say that? Who says, I thought I my hair did. Had that done. My sister, God love her, she's a stylist, and she has been out of work for... A little while she's back to work now so anyway she let us come out to her house this morning before I opened up and did my hair she did my daughter's hair and my mom's hair all this morning before I got to work today <laughs> Michelle says I say it guts to get my hair did it's just funny it's just a funny way um, okay, so what is happening? I'm getting my heat a little bit too close. When you dry this with heat, it will get a little bit of a crackly, which I wasn't really going for. So I'm going to back my heat up a little bit. Thank you, Deborah. It's just, it's just amazing what a good haircut will do for a girl. You should have seen the pile of hair on the floor when she got done with me. And I still have, like, a ton left. I mean, like, it, it looked like a whole other person's head of hair. That's how much was cut off. And man, did it need it. So, so you can see how this is changing in color as I'm drying it. Um, let me see if I can remove the banner. Can I? Move it. Let me see if it'll let me. I don't know. Oh, that takes up more space. Sorry about that. I don't think I can remove it. I'm just going to try to see if I can give y'all, maybe I can. Hmm. Well, minimal. Guess what's gonna be the best, guys? The blue is very pretty, it is. Again, you guys, this is blue iris. And what I'm going to do is just really easy. Hello, Maggie from Green Bay. How are you? It's really easy. Anybody can do it. And I know that you have probably five of these in your little, like, junk cupboard that we all have. Does everybody have a junk cupboard? A junk cupboard. Sometimes it's like under the sink, you'll stuff things. I know you'll find some of these. And what are you gonna do with them? I mean, you may as well make them pretty so that when you don't have flowers, even when you don't have flowers, it'll look pretty. Um, and then what you could do, you could just go, the big thing right now are tropical um, fronds, palms, um, and it, you know, any kind of the tropical leaves are huge right now and that would look beautiful in this because this is going to be so pretty you can actually treat this like the focal point and the flower itself because it's just like stunning right um so it would be beautiful with those beautiful greens hello christine how are you hello miss dion i'm using your color girl look at that isn't that pretty so I think that, um, yeah, just put some tropical leaves in it and this will just pop. So. Um, Christine said she's good. But it is beautiful here today and it's been so nice seeing people out and about. Okay. so. I think I have this, it's not fully dry, but what I'm gonna do next, super easy by the way, um, I don't think it's gonna interfere with anything that I've not dried. Did you cut your hair? I did, we just had a whole, yeah. My sister, my sister this morning, 
Did that. Yes. Hey, you, Michelle. It's our Dion. It's not just your Dion. <laughs> you have to share. Right? All right. Guess what's next, guys? Marva says, I love blue irises. One of my favorites. I know. It's just stunning. I don't paint with it as much as I should, but I'm going to change that because I may do like a full dresser that's going to have mostly blue iris on it. So, all right. <laughs> all right. So next, you guys, I want you to grab your another one from Debbie's DIY. This is Pennies from Heaven. This is another brand new one that came out um, the last time she had a, um, you know, um, big secret that she gave all her good, you know, the good news stuff. This was one of the new ones. So Pennies from Heaven, Copper Patina, um, debuted, was it, what was it, last spring? Wait a minute. It was before... When was it, guys? Or No, it was in the fall, I think. Yeah, it was in the fall. Um, and it went over really well. This has been so... Um, people love it. So if you've not used it, I recommend using it. And I am going to get one of my little... One of my little droppers. And see that? I just sucked that right up in there. And I'm just going to kind of do a little pour over it. So we're just going to let it drip. How good is that, right? That's just very satisfying. If you want to, if you want to kind of water it down, you're welcome to. I'm going to use it thick. And I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, so good, you guys. It's so good. Um, there are some other things that you could do as well. You could puddle this in a little bowl and puddle it, and you could take the, the little bottom of your vase and just kind of like stir it around, just kind of tilt it around, and that would be a beautiful accent as well, okay? Told you it was going to be an easy one. It's, you know, it's the end of the week. And I just wanted something fun and easy for you guys today, right? But look how stunning the, the colors are together. Can you see that? I'm going to give you a close-up here in a little bit. So use as much or as little as you would like. It's just, it's just kind of satisfying watching it. Do you guys remember that, uh, the ketchup commercial, Anticipation? <laughs> it's slow good, they said. It's kind of what I'm feeling with this right now. It's slow good. But you guys, how beautiful. And what a high-end look in just very, very little time, very little money using these great colors, right? So I know you guys can do this. And if you do try it, I hope you let me know. It makes me happy when I get messages from you guys saying, hey, I tried this or that technique and tell, you tell me how it turned out. I love it when you guys give me those comments. So if you do try it, make sure you're on my YouTube channel and you give me those comments So because I always see them over on my YouTube channel. Um, a little more so than my, my Facebook feed. I, I lose the feed a lot, but on my Facebook channel, I see all those comments, okay? Oh, so good. It's just lingle paint. This is copper patina. Looks great. I'd be spraying with that. You want to, oh, you're going to spray? You're going to spray with it? That would be a cool idea. Let me know how that works because I've not sprayed with the I have not sprayed with the copper yet. But yeah, I love it. 
And then I guess if you wanted to, you could do some full coverage, you know, on the bottom, which I might do at a later time because I kind of want that to dry. And then these little guys, um, I just got these at Hobby Lobby in the artist area, um, back where the, I think where the brushes and stuff like that is. Um, you can get all kinds of these little goodies, these little tools like this. And, and then they're just disposable too after you're done with them. You want to make sure you get all the paint. Let's make sure we get all the paint squeezed out. Yeah, I think we did. So, Love it so far, says Kim Parr. Thank you, Kim. You're so sweet. This is so beautiful. I have to finish this later. I am so going to do this. Sue, let me see it if you do finish it. Okay, so it's dry down here. Yeah, I'm going to give you my gorgeous. So I will, after I'm done with this, I'm going to let this sit, and this will dry thoroughly. I'm going to just let it sit like this, and then I will go over top of it. You can use either wax on it if you'd like, or you can use um, any kind of a sealer like Big Top or Liquid Patina would work as well. So you can use either one. So if you want it more matte, um, you would want to seal it with wax. Um, if you want a hard seal, so if, you're, if you think you're going to use yours a lot, with flowers and water, you might want to go ahead and put big top on it and that'll put a nice solid um, seal so that, you know, the water isn't going to um, disturb anything when you go, when you put your flowers in it. But I love it. Um, I think it's going to be gorgeous and I think it's very high end. It's very like anthropology-esque kind of a look, don't you think? So easy, easy, easy little project. Kind of afraid. Let's see. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think I'll just leave it sit right like that. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Vicky says, yummy. Okay, guys. Well, I told you it was just going to be a really easy one. I want you guys to do me a favor. How many will do me a favor? Give me a show of hands, please, if you will do me an easy favor. I want you to have a great weekend. Okay, I want you to do something fun for yourself and enjoy your weekend. That is a favor that I want you to do. Okay, so again, I will be back tomorrow. I'll try to be back at two o'clock tomorrow for another little kind of a either a DIY or some kind of a live art class of some sort tomorrow at two. Okay, see you guys then. Thank you so much for hanging out. And as always on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you get notified of all my videos that are coming up. Okay, thanks so much, you guys, for hanging out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.